Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin and today's video I actually like forgot about this story like straight up completely forgot about it And I wouldn't have forgotten about it if it wasn't for like all the recent shit like moving and then moving back And then like just a whole bunch of stuff recently But this was pretty insane definitely not as insane as having like legit the SWAT team show up to your house late at night and Just having anyone show up to your house late at night is pretty fucking freaky but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna start this story. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the support on yesterday's video. I'll be sure to do more like face cam Q&A stuff. But yeah, let's start this shit. So this happened very, very early in like my YouTube stages, I guess. And it wasn't like insanely early. Like I'm not talking like a hundred subscriber earlier, like a thousand, but I think it was somewhere around 50 to like 75k. I think it was around that time. And it was still pretty early for me back then. And I was still in school and I was doing like schoolwork and shit like that and just getting my stuff done. And I had this program that I was in at the time. I wasn't actually in, like, a high school. I was getting, like, half homeschooled. And then, like, half going to this program thing where it was, like, a building. And it was basically a school, but not nearly as big as, like, a huge fucking high school. But basically, I'm just gonna go to where it all starts. I was on Xbox 360 early morning. Like, literally, it was, like, 5 a.m. I stayed up the whole night just playing with some friends of mine. And one of my friends at the time, who was playing Xbox with us, knew this guy that, like... I guess he was like a quote-unquote hacker, but really all he did was just send police and like pizzas to people's houses and shit and, you know, quote-unquote prank them. Kind of fucked up. But he's like, yo, can I invite my friend? And at first I was like, hell no. Fuck that. I know that dude. He's going to pull some shit. He's like, nah, dude, he's cool. He never runs any like software or anything to pull our IPs and like he thinks we're all cool. We've played with him before. I was like, all right, dude, whatever. So he invites this kid to the fucking party, this hacker. He joins the fucking party, talks to us on Xbox 360 voice chat, and, like, immediately starts being super cocky and, like, talking shit about how he made so much money that night off just doing illegal stuff, and then proceeds to ask me for a shout-out. And I was like, what do you mean? What shout-out? He's like, you know, like, my Twitter. Can you shout me out on your channel? I was like, dude, I don't really do shout-outs on my YouTube channel. He's like, do you want to get fucking treated like a skid? And when he said that, I kind of laughed, because, like, I, I don't know, just the word fucking skid makes me laugh, like, Come on, who calls another person a skid? I just think that's a funny-ass word. So I kind of laughed, and I was like, whatever, dude. And I left the party. I just left the voice chat party. So I left, and I was like, fuck this. I got school in like an hour and a half. I have to get up, get ready. So I did, and I fucking got ready for school. I hop on my fucking bus, just tired as shit because I didn't sleep the night before and just wasted my time playing video games. Get to school. I get a text message from my friend. The same friend that, like, personally knows this hacker and told me he was so cool. And he texts me and goes, yo, dude. And he says the dude's name. He's like, he's pissed. Like, you didn't want to give him a shout-out. Now he's going to do stuff to you. Can't remember the exact message, but it was something along the lines of that. And I was like, dude, whatever. Like, he didn't get any of my info. I never gave him any of my info. He's only capable of, like, sending police and pizzas to people's houses. And he doesn't have my info, so I don't fucking care. I was just kind of thinking. I was like, what the fuck's this guy going to do without my address? Send pizzas to a nursing home nearby or something? Like, fuck it. So, actually, that's kind of fucked up. That'd be mean. But I pretty much underestimated him and what he could do, this hacker. And I pretty much just blew off my friend's warning and just didn't give a fuck. And I went on with my day, right? I got to school. I put my backpack in this room. We didn't have lockers, but we had this room where you would put your stuff. I put my backpack in there. And I left my phone in my backpack because if you got caught at this program slash school with your phone, you'd just get it taken. And you'd have to, like, come back later in the day with your parents to pick it up. It was really fucking stupid. But I get to first period. I'm sitting in the classroom. And we get, like, 30 minutes in a class. I'm just doing my work, just trying to get out, you know? go on with the day and all of a sudden someone knocks on the door and the door opens and I see my principal like the lady at the place that like ran the whole program and the school cop and they said can we see Austin and they pointed at me and I was like oh fuck what did I do I'm thinking I'm like what could I have done I literally just stayed up all night playing Xbox I've been doing my work this week literally the worst possible thing I could have done that week is kill a fucking spider like no joke so I get up, I follow them out of the room, and the minute we walk out of the room, the announcements come on, and we go into a fucking lockdown. So I was like, oh shit, what's going on? And me, the school cop, and the fucking lady walk over to the main like office thing, and in the main office, there's like four other police officers. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here, and why do I get called down? Like, I didn't do shit to make the school get locked down. So they put me in this room, I sit down in front of my principal, the school cop, and these other cops, and they were like, we got a call from someone saying you had a knife in your backpack and that you were planning to use it in a fight today against another student here. And immediately I'm like, nope, this can't be fucking happening. And I thought about it and I was like, yep, that nerd from Xbox, the hacker nerd, got my school info some fucking creepy way and called and got the police to come to my school to try and get me in trouble or just scare the shit out of me, which completely worked, by the way. Like, I was shit in my pants at this point. But I told them, I was like, look, there's this one person that fucking hates my guts and he doesn't even live here. He lives in another city. But he called you guys making up lies about me to try and get me in trouble or just trying to scare me. Like, I wouldn't bring a weapon to school. 
let alone fucking fight people because this is not the person I am. And the lady was like, yeah, I know, you don't seem like that kind of kid. You're always very quiet when I see you. And then, like, one of the higher-up cops started asking me questions about the dude and, like, why he would do that and just who he was. And I didn't even fucking know that's the problem. So I was just kind of telling him, I was like, yeah, people are fucked up online. They do stuff like this for fun. And pretty much everyone in the room was looking at me like I was fucking crazy and, like, this was just some impossible situation. Like, people wouldn't do that. But I just straight up told them, I was like, go search all my stuff. I promise I don't have anything bad. And that's what they did. They looked through my stuff, didn't find absolutely anything, found out that the whole thing was bullshit and let me go, and I just, like, went back to class and sat down. They did call my mom and tell her about it, and my mom was just like, what the fuck are you doing online? I was like, mom, I'm just trying to play some Call of Duty here, and I'm just getting messed with. Fucking can't even do that these days without getting messed with by people. But yeah, everything was all good. The school knew that that call was bullshit and that I wouldn't do anything like that, and I didn't get tackled by, like, a police officer and beat to death with a textbook because they thought I was a criminal, even though that would be fucking really, really cool. Like, so guys, I'm gonna be telling you about how I got hit to death with a textbook fucking kidding that wouldn't be cool at all but yeah that was like literally it i just went through the whole rest of that day and i just straight up ignored everyone and didn't get on xbox for like two days straight so i was so fucking butthurt over that whole thing and yeah that was literally it just spooky ass kids online these days man but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video today this story please leave a like if you guys did enjoy it subscribe if you're new leave your stories in the comments down below because i always read those i'll see you all tomorrow peace